The windswept island of Isla off the Scottish coast, for centuries home to some of the most highly prized Scotch whiskey in the world. Could it soon be home to whiskey that's out of this world? When this Soyuz rocket launched four years ago, it had on board a series of experiments, including a small amount of unmatured Ardbeg malt. Another vial of the same malt was kept at Ardbeg's distillery on Isla. After four years in space, the whiskey is now back on Earth, where it is being studied and compared to the Earthbound control vial. For us, it's a maturation experiment at near zero gravity. Hamish Torrey is global ambassador for Glenmorangie, Ardbeg's parent company. It could lead to all sorts of discoveries about the way we produce uh, whiskies in the future. It could lead to, it could lead to, somebody said, you know, maybe zero gravity warehouses on Earth. You never know. Or it could, he admits, lead to nothing. At the very least, it is a very much needed marketing opportunity. After years of soaring sales in 2014, the value of Scottish whiskey exports dropped 7%. Distillers need to make up for that shortfall, but when their best stuff takes perhaps 15 years to age, they can't exactly speed up production. Who's going to buy a three-year-old whiskey? So instead they come up with new names instead of age statements. And so we're gonna see this trend continue. Using a name instead of an age statement allows some distillers to mix younger whiskey in with older stock and call it a special edition. Others like Ardbeg are increasingly going further afield to drum up sales. It released its Galileo edition to commemorate the whiskey it sent into space, but unlike its interplanetary cousin, this stuff Slunge. can actually be enjoyed here on Earth. Aaron Saltzman, CBC News, Toronto.